Hi, my name is Sarah Kai, and I research the negative effects of throwing up in the public eye. Starting with the history of the issue, the trend of children in the spotlight began with the first child actor, Jackie Coogan, who was pictured here. Um, Coogan, Coogan spent his entire childhood acting in primarily silent films, earning a total of three to four million dollars. Um, but when he tried to access his money in his 20s, he discovered that his mother and stepfather had spent almost all of it, um, which shows that they exploited him for his money. Um, he sued his mother and stepfather um, for his money, but only $126,000 back, and the Coogan Law was put into motion to prevent similar cases from happening again. Another case of childhood exploitation comes with Shirley Temple, who finished 29 films by the time she turned 10, however, she was heavily sexualized, worked long hours, and even received multiple death threats. Um, many child actors to this day face similar issues as Jackie Coogan and Shirley Temple in the sense that they are exploited and abused by those around them. An example of this is Jeanette McCurdy, who was famous for her role as Sam on iCarly. Um, she wrote the memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died, which is pictured here. Um, and in this, she states that her mom abused and exploited her. Child stars are also placed under intense pressure, and this can lead to lasting trauma. This leads me to my research question. To what extent does growing up in the public eye affect a person's mental health and livelihood? First, we must look at the issue from a social cultural standpoint. And from this, social media can be viewed as a major contributing factor to the um, negative impacts of growing up in the public eye. Stephanie Mary, a journalist for the Washington Post, claims that social media and the internet makes being a child actor so much worse. Um, and she uses Mara Wilson, who was famous for her titular role as um, Matilda, uh, as an example. Wilson was not even a teenager the first time she looked up her name. And by doing so, she came upon multiple websites falsely promising new photos of her and people discussing her body in sickening detail. Um, she stated that she had to learn to laugh these comments off, and although she transitioned from childhood stardom to adulthood fairly easily, um, this can be used as a cautionary tale for the difficulties child stars must endure, as it shows how easy it is for people online to obsess over them, often in inappropriate ways, as well as implying that child, that child stars have to be okay with being sexualized and violated at a young age. Furthermore, laws such as the Coogan Law do not protect child influencers or kidfluencers, um, from being exploited as explained by Alex Ambrose of the Information Technology and Innovation Foundation. This graph shows the number of hours children are forced to work during filming. Um, most work long hours, between 12 to 18 hours, um, and this these long hours could lead to exploitation. Next we must explore um, the topic from the scientific lens. From a scientific standpoint, growing up famous can have detrimental effects on a person's mental health. An article by Paracelsus Recovery states that former childhood stars are among the most at-risk group um, for developing mental health issues. Um, they often fall victim to child star syndrome, which is caused by child abuse, unpredictable love, identity crises, and pressure to perform, as seen um, in this picture. It may also be um, a result of the lucky one paradox in which children are told they're being ungrateful given their opportunities. These factors lead the ch the, um, these children to experiencing trauma and abuse, which can lead to toxic stress, um, which in result turns into PTSD. According to Liana Y. Zanet et al., researchers for scientific reports, people are prone to avoid trauma-related cues, and the results of such are numerous and diverse and often result in a reduced quality of life. That information was from the stimulus packet. This graph from Hillside shows the statistics of child abuse. Although, uh, according to this, a total of 75% of children um, are subject to neglect, with 17% being physically abused and 8% being sexually abused. The status for the general public, however, it does show the pre prevalence of the child abuse um, that, based on previous data, is usually amplified for child stars. Considering the complexity of the issue, I've developed two possible solutions. My first solution is for parents to regulate their children's hours worth and advocate for their well-being. This does come with limitations, however, as parents may advocate for their children in the wrong way, purposely wanting them to work long, long hours for more money, exploiting them as has been done multiple times in the past. Um, if done correctly, however, implications include children having balanced schedules and emotional, physical, and possibly even legal protection from their parents. My second solution is for the U.S. government to pass a law um, protecting, um, 
A second solution is for the U.S. government to pass a law protecting child performers. Congresswoman Grace Meng, pictured here, suggests that passing the Child Performer Protection Act will ensure that child actors and models will be treated and paid fairly. This does come with limitations, however. Firstly, the law is only applicable in the United States, so um, children in other countries will not be protected from unfair treatment. And this law does have loopholes, as it does not clearly state which performers are protected. Some child stars, such as social media influencers, are not covered under the law, and they could still be potentially overworked and underpaid. Implications of this solution include the safety and health of children in the entertainment industry, as well as ensuring that they will be treated correctly and not exploited. Overall, the problem is causing children in the ind entertainment industry many hardships that lead to exploitation and mental health issues. Without changes made to the way they are treated, these children will continue to fall victim to the previously mentioned problems and their lasting effects. And these are my work cited. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first question is, what evidence did you gather that you did not use and why did you choose not to use it? Um, I did find further evidence from other child stars and what they had to say about the problem, including Selena Gomez, who said that she felt very uncomfortable with the paparazzi following her. Um, but I felt like I already had enough information in my essay and I was nearing my word count, so I can't really include that part. Um, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to this issue? Um, if I had more time, I would look at the futuristic lens because I feel like it is important to um, see how this issue will affect children in the future in order to um, figure out a strong, stronger solution as to how to stop it now. 